one will not stand for someone to bleed our student government that has multiple, multiple accounts of harassing women. Thomas and Clayton admitted to everything that he was accused of. He was only ever after the presidency. He was only ever after power. Notice how every single one of the people that he yelled at and harassed were women. He did not do this to men. That says a lot. What do we want? Yeah. What do we want? Yeah. This is what we have to keep saying. I don't understand how eight senators, actually nine senators, could have listened to all three of those women's stories and still think that there's not enough evidence against him. How can you say that when three women are saying the same exact thing about the same man? He should not be in a position of power, uh, especially a 34-year-old man. You said that you would stand with the voice of the student body. You stood with the voice of nine senators who had their case built on sand and the voices and votes of other senators in your fraternity. I just wanted to take this time to let you know that yes, Thomason needs to resign. I know my actions and again, I had to live with that. I went up there and I testified for Thomason and I stated that I regretted doing that. Please, 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 please. What do we want? Now! What do we want? Please, please, please.